Okay, welcome. So welcome to part two of the AI in Excel series. Now, in part one, we talked about flash fill and I hope you watched that video. If you haven't, watch it now. Um, just to see the things that you can do with flash fill because they are amazing. Uh, but now we're going to do column from examples. And in a sense, it's going to seem as if this one is far superior to the flash fill. That is misleading because sometimes there are things that you can do with flash fill that this one does not do or vice versa, right? So let's let's first just look at what column from example looks like and what it does. So if I take this data, which is the same as I had before, right? It's the same as we started here. So I take this and I simply push it to Power Query. So column from examples is a tool in Power Query. So I go into Power Query, load this into Power Query, and what I'm going to say is something like this. I'm going to say, well, I have all this and now I want you to give me an extra column. So add column and it's going to be a column from examples. I could go into the drop down and actually teach it which columns it should look at. Right. So I could say if I just want to join these two, I could just select these two. And I would say I'm doing column from examples, but just from the selection. Um, or you could do it from all columns. So look at everything and try to help me. And I'm actually going to just choose from all columns, which is this button if you just press it. So this is the interface that you get. You get a column where you just start typing, right? It's column from examples. So what is it doing now? It's waiting for you to provide examples. So the first one will be, I want John in all caps. And you can see that it's already figuring out things, right? And then I want the surname. Well, let's still leave. So let's do proper case, right? Like this, enter, and it figured it out. Just like that, brilliant, right? But it's even more brilliant than that. So. Up to here, this is exactly what I would get with flash fill, sort of, right? It's just waiting for my answer. Well, this one is waiting for my OK, so nothing special about that. But there is something very special here, and that is it did not just give me these examples. It actually wrote what it's going to put in as a formula. That's a big thing, people. It's a formula. So this one is dynamic. If something changes later on, it's going to reflect in my column. And look what it's saying. It's saying I'm going to take the name and I'm going to do it in the uppercase. Right. And then I'll just bring in the last name and I'll put a space in between. Right. So text combine kind of a concatenate thing of name in the upper and then do the the space and just bring in the last name. Right? And if I if I'm okay with this, I just do okay, and there it is. And I can rename this into name and surname or whatever. Now let's do let's do it the other way. So I have a full name and I'm trying to get the the names out of it, right? So both names, if they're both present or just the first name. So I'm doing column from example. And the first one will be John Winston. Right? And look what it did. So it said, okay, John Winston, Paul James, that one's correct. And then did George Harrison. So we did the entire thing and Richard Starkey, the entire thing. Now here's how you talk to this one. In, in Flash Fill, we kind of still could go to the one that we didn't like or the one that we thought would help the most and fill it out with what we wanted it to be. But the problem was, as we did that, oh, sorry, so like this, as we did that, we didn't know what was happening with the others, right? 
But over here, it's actually real time showing me, well, okay, I get it. You want Richard to be here. So this has got to be George's son. Right? And of course it's not. And this one should be George. And then let's see what it does with Paul. Well, almost correct. So that one should be Paul James. And over here, you saw this is not perfect. It's not perfect. Yeah, so one should keep in mind while doing this, you still have to watch what it's doing. But you could always just go here and do you see what it did? Now, and this is a problem, right? Because it's doing a NIF statement. It's not even just going for the full name and getting what you want from it. It's doing something totally different. So let's say I want to cancel that. I want to go from full name and do column from examples, but just from selection. So this is all you have. And now let's do John, sorry, John Winston. Now this is kind of better. And this one should be George. Kind of better. This one should be Richard. And now, well, I'm basically stuck with the same thing. It did, it did, let me just show you. It did write a formula that is looking at my full name. You can see that here. But the formula that he wrote is just, uh, you know, it's tremendous, but it's not what I want. So basically, sometimes, you know, sometimes you're not going to get the answer that you need, right? And now it just went, well, if, 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 and why did it go into this mode? Well, because I filled all of them out manually, right? Um, so it couldn't help me. And now it's just saying, okay, so basically you just want to fill out each one of those um, individually, specifically. Um, so I'm going to go cancel. I'm not going to keep that one. But now let's go for this one. This one's going to be brilliant. So column from examples again. And now let's say I want to get from the date, the name of the month. So I'll go October and look, it said month name from date of birth. If I go with that one, there it is, right? That one was brilliant. Flashville couldn't do that. Uh, of course, I could do the same with just going 1940. But now, why don't you look at this for just a second here? So it's still it's going with the date, right? But look what it's offering me. It's saying, well, you can get the year out of it, right? Uh, you can get the whole date, which is not saying much, right? Um, you can also get the time out of it. And you know, this is just brilliant. But look, at some other things that it has over here. So if I go all the way back, look at the things that it's offering me. So it's saying, do you want the age from date of birth in days, in days? Do you want just the day? Do you want the day of week? Do you want the day of week you know, with the word? That was Wednesday. Do you want the day of year? So he was born on the 283rd day of 1940. Um, I mean, this is amazing. The amount of data you can get, right? Look at all of this. It's looking at all of this. And that's just, it's amazing. You know, it's amazing. Um, so let's go for the number of week, right? There you go. So which week of the year were they born in? Uh, it's, it's amazing, right? Things that you can get from the date, amazing. And now let's go for this one. So basically what we're looking at are these numbers. So let's go, columns from example. And let's start with 251. So it said, okay. I think this, this one should be seven. I think this one should be street 100A. 
and I think this one should be square 5b. So why is it thinking that? Well, it's thinking that because they're the first two words, obviously, it shouldn't include them, right? But it should, should include the third word and everything after. That's the way it's thinking right now. Over here, no problem, because that's just a 7. But over here, that's street 100a. So I'll just say, well, this one, I don't want it to be that. I want it to be 100. And now it knows exactly what it's doing. But it did the same. It did the same with the flash fill. But over here, it's not just giving me that. It's actually doing a formula that is doing that. So it's saying, okay, so select text from address, but only select the text that is a zero, a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, or eight, or a nine. Those are all, uh, all the symbols that I want you to take out. If it's not one of those, leave it in. And that is so brilliant. You just say, okay, and you get that, but you get that with a formula, right? So that is, the major, major difference, major difference from column from examples to flash fill. They're both kind of AI thing, right? They're trying to help you, but this one does it so that it's dynamic. So that it includes a formula. And in the end, you could just say close and load and I'll actually do that, but I'll close and load it too a table on the existing worksheet, but not over there, put it over here and okay, right? So that is the result of my query. Okay, that was part two of AI in Excel. I hope you like this video and the next one, the next one is gonna be true AI in Excel. And you should really be looking forward to that and I'll see you next week.